Hi, my name is Tara, and I am the co-owner of Two of C Cafe in Dartmouth, and you're listening to Unified Field on CKDU. the Unified Field. I'm your host, Mr. Justin Brown, and this is Atlantic Canada's only paranormal radio broadcast. I'm really excited to be back. This is episode eight, and we've got a jam-packed episode for all you guys and gals in Radio Land. This is the Kathleen Martin interview, the niece of Betty and Barney Hill, the amazing abduction story from 1961. Um, that she co-authored with Stan Friedman. We go into detail about that story. She's also the author uh, with Stan Friedman, Science Was Wrong. Stick around, that's going to be fantastic. We also have the Exopolitical Pulse with some great stories of Gary McKinnon, an update on Gary McKinnon. We've got an update on a Japanese prime minister's wife being abducted. Uh, Also, we go way back to 1890, I believe, to the story of a strange green cloud moving into town and petrifying crops and other things. And there's a detailed account right there, directly from a witness in 1890 from a local newspaper. We'll go into that. We also have a story from a listener on Radio Land. Michael, if you're listening, your story is going to be on at the end. Uh, we like to call that the cabin entity story. There's the exopolitical pulse, sci tech news, Michael's story, Kathleen Martin, all kinds of fantastic music like this one here, Ithaca with Sepia. We've got all kinds of great stuff coming up. Stick around. This is the Unified Field on CKDU. It's Saturday night, 88.1 FM. Hello, this is Jose Gonzalez, and you're listening to CKDU on 88.1 and um, Halifax. How long were you willing to go? Need your local sports fix? Get it from Halifax's top sports news authority, Bill McLean, every Tuesday morning from 10.30 to 12, right here on CKDU. 88.1 88.1 FM, it's the Bill McLean Sports Show. Let's go.
Welcome back to the Unified Field. Uh, yeah, I hope you like that uh, new little Unified Field robot introducing the show there. I thought that was pretty fun. I got a whole bunch of those too, by the way, to amuse you with. Some of them are a lot sillier than others, but yeah, I always like doing fun stuff like that. It's a good time. You know what I mean? So anyway, welcome back to the program. This is awesome. I'm glad that you're here, and uh, we're, we're about to unleash a whole bunch of fantastic stuff on you right here. But I want to just talk about what's been going on with me for the last little while. If you may have noticed, if you're if you're listening in and on CKDU last, well, it would have been two weeks ago, you would have heard a really old episode. I think it was episode one. I sincerely apologize because it's really dry. There's not a whole lot of fun to it. It's just a lot of dialogue that I'm reading. So yeah, I do apologize for that. Uh, but I'm back now with a with a great new show for you. This is an interview I did with Kathleen just before I left. That would have been, I left around... 20th of August, so it would have been about a week or two before that. So it is fairly current. Uh, And here we are. It's going to be a great episode. I just met with Sylvia Richards this morning. We met at 2 If By C. If you missed the plug at the beginning of the program, uh, the co owner there, Tara from 2 If By C, was kind enough to share a few words and plug the show for us, which is great. Because here on the Unified Field, uh, we believe in community spirit and supporting one another because that is the future after all, is it not? We can't let the corporations take over. It's just not going to work. It's too homogenous. It ruins too much because there's too many middlemen and too much money involved, and the perspective gets lost real quickly. So congrats to 2F by C. Uh, They're a real cornerstone of the community in Dartmouth, and uh, that was real nice. What else can I tell you? Big news, folks. Big news. There's a brand new book out there. Well, it's not brand new. It came out in 2009, but uh, it's been getting a lot of press lately. Uh... You may know this gentleman from YouTube uh, in all of his clips of alleged alien entity footage. There's one in particular of a, of a little alien popping up in a window, blinking, moving around, going down, you know, under the window, out of frame. And it's caused a lot of buzz. This gentleman was on Larry King and his book, Messages, the world's most documented UFO experiencer memoir, let's just say. Stan Romanek is going to be on a future episode of The Unified Field. Now, this guy takes a lot of flack because I've seen some of these videos and uh, I see where they're coming from. I see where they're coming from. They're saying that, you know, this could be someone that is a... I don't know. How can I put this politely? Um, Presenting a world's only solve all tonic sort of scenario where they think he's fabricating all this stuff. A lot of people are calling him a uh, charlatan. They think his videos being produced are CGI. In fact, I was reading an article in the the August issue, sorry, the August edition slash issue of 14 times, and uh, there was a little article in there about how one specific gentleman uh, said that the uh, a video of a of a F was it an M five an RAF oh over the M five motorway yeah an RAF jet was chasing a UFO anyway the creator of that who uses the YouTube name Princess Marriage or Marriage or Marriage I don't know how you'd pronounce that uh, came clean at the end of April posting a full video and a step by step guide on how it was created using a simple three D computer program. Anywho, you know, some people are claiming that Stan Romanek is one of these guys. I don't know. There's some interesting information on Romanek. I don't want to babble on, but stay tuned to a future episode of The Unified Field for that interview. It's going to be fantastic either way. He can defend his case. Uh, he, the story is really interesting because he comes up with some mathematical formulae uh, that pertain to the idea of zero-point energy and propulsion systems and languages that are, aren't even really used anymore. But at one time, I think it's ancient Aramaic that he kind of learned and wrote down through um, kind of waking up from dreams in a trance and writing this stuff now. And he has no recollection of it, um, but his wife d- does, and other people that, have been, that had stayed with him at the time... Um, can corroborate 
Also, he talks about element 115 and these mathematical equations, where these extraterrestrials come from and how they got here. So stick around. That's going to be fantastic. But let's get on with this show. We've got a great one here. Kathleen Martin is a fantastic individual. She is the niece of Betty and Barney Hill. She's the co-author of the book Abducted, about that story in 1961. The world's first widely publicized story and led to the later... Uh, movie called The UFO Incident, starring James Earl Jones, the one and only James Earl Jones, famous man uh, giving the voice to Darth Vader, and so many other roles. Let's just say Field of Dreams, Kevin Costner. Hmm. Anywho, we'll go on with the program, like I say. What else can I tell you before I get into this interview, though? Hmm. Oh, right. Michael. A listener, Michael, has got a great story for us, a cabin entity that he witnessed that he kept secret with his brother for a really long time and decided to share it with us. So get lucky. That'll be on at the end of the program after the calendar of the paranormal. I'm Mr. Justin Brown. Let's rock and roll into this Kathleen Martin interview. It's going to be great. Um, I have to say, though, at the studio, sometimes there's some technical issues. We're always trying to work out things. I've been finding recently there's a lot of RF interference and crosstalk going on the lines. And the microphone I'm using there is fantastic. It's the Sennheiser. I think it's an MD-421, which is great. But there's crosstalk. So this is high-energy kind of uh, static uh, buzz, like a ground buzz almost. It's just terrible. So I'm just going to play this straight off my laptop, out of the phone, into the laptop. Her and I... Um, going on about this fantastic new book and what she has to say about that. In the future, I'm going to look in to see if I can get an inter- another interface into the production control room. Uh, the master control room has one. We don't have one in the PCR. What's that all about? So I can't. There's no interface to go directly from telephone lines into the computer system. And even if I did, there'd be that nasty buzz and hum. So th- those are technical issues we're working on. Uh, of course, CKDU is, is really for the most part, volunteer and uh, donation-driven by listeners just like you. And I guess that's a good segue to say that uh, October 1st to 7th is the CKDU funding drive. So you're all going to have to call in and help support the show, help support the the uh, the radio station, because without you guys, there is no us. Like, the, the radio uh, station is us, mostly publicly funded. Uh, you know, there's some government help there, but it's mostly volunteer and donation-driven. So that that ties into the gear thing. If you're Long and McQuaid out there or any other musical company you want to help uh, help the show, donate a telephone interface, please. It would make us sound uh, a little bit better out there on the airwaves because you know what? We're not constrained by public airwaves. We're going global on YouTube, MySpace, Facebook, all of these things. I don't use Facebook for a lot of reasons. I don't want to get into it. Let's just say... I think it's used for a lot of commercial purposes, and, and, and I'm talking consumer. Uh, I don't like to be boxed in like that, so I don't particularly use it. I know you can use it as a vessel. I'd like to do that, but I don't know. It goes against my belief systems. What are you going to do? You know what I mean? you got to be true to yourself. Anyway, uh, I think that's all I have to say. I'm, Unified Field, actually, is going to be having a backyard sci-fi screening event coming up probably in the next two weeks. Uh, gonna get some chairs back here. Uh, uh, Asif from NSPIRG, uh, NSPIRG is gonna help donate a, uh, a projector. I think we're gonna get Day the Earth Stood Still. So it's gonna be fantastic. BYOB sort of thing. Donation at the gate. Come check it out. Have some popcorn and, uh, enjoy the event. CKDU funding drive coming up. So help support us October 1st to 7th. But of course, you can go to any of the events coming up. There's a whole list of them on the CKDU website. Go to that, www.ckdu.ca. And also, for the show, check us out at unifiedfieldradio.blogspot.com. Uh, also, Check us out there at youtube.com forward slash unified field radio to check out all your latest episodes. I usually try and stay a little bit behind on YouTube so people can listen to the back issues. You can also download the episodes from the archives at cakdu.ca or you can live stream every Saturday night if you're from out of town. Send your questions, comments, stories, everything you got to unifiedfieldradio at gmail.com because I want to hear your concerns. I want to hear your stories like Michael has sent us because there's a lot of them out there. 